How's it going guys? My name is Daniel. Welcome to Founder's Fortune. This is a game that started off my idea of making this a gaming channel and just a, my channel in general. This is the kind of game that I started off playing and I think I was one of the first few people to even actually upload it so that's pretty cool. Um, but it's about to have a cool graphic update. As you can tell, it looks like it's gonna become super, super beautiful and I'm really excited for that. So we're gonna start a new game. We're gonna play an exciting world and we're just gonna jump into it. I don't want any negatives on my people. Other than that, I don't really care if they have any skills or not. So like lactose intolerant or any allergies, I really don't want that. Hates fall, that could be worked around. So that's completely fine with me. Vegetarian, no thanks. Animal lover, diplomat. What's the diplomat do? Because I always make friends and soothe our core a fraction of small chance of increase. Okay, so she can increase the likeliness of all the other people here. But there's our there's our little colony here. Now I'm not gonna do what I did last time in the little starter episode asking you guys if I wanted this to be a series. I'm not gonna feed all my food to the cows because I got super excited that there were cows. Now let's do what I want to do and kind of find our area of living. Now over here is pretty cool, but we'd have to go pretty far for that, which would suck. We got a camp to our left. We won't be able to see who moves there yet. Um, I'm looking for apple trees, mainly there's some cows there. Oh my God, there's little piggies, no way. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, I wanna live near the piggies. But there's some apple trees over here. The only downfall of that is they're super far away. Oof. In a, in a way, it's okay as long as we start farming early, but that that's not good. Like, that's not good at all. But I guess we're in an okay spot because we do have gems, we have ore, uh, stone over here, over there, over here, cotton, all that fun jazz. I do have a little mod that should make it so I can move the stuff. I don't know how to really work it, but yeah, look, I could just move that, but I'm going to cancel it out. Make sure we don't do that. But I, I don't know what the mod's called. I just got it, and it's kind of going to help us out a little bit. But, guys, welcome to Founders Fortune. If you're excited for this to be a series, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It truly, truly helps out. And comment down below. Um, I don't know if I can name the characters. I think you can. I can name the kids. So if you guys uh, want to be named any of the children or whatever, just let me know. But, guys, if you're not, please subscribe. It truly, truly helps out. It really, really does. But let's jump right into it. I want to put my beacon like over here, but I don't like how it's not a flat straight land. It would have to be like this. Hmm. Do I want to stay close to this or do I want to like move it over here? I say just move over here, honestly. So we're going to do that. We're going to need some cotton, which I don't think that's cotton. Unless they change the symbol of it. Do we have it? I think they might have changed the symbol, textiles, crystals. Am I blind? I'm, I feel like I'm being blind right now. All right, maybe that is cotton. Okay, textiles just it includes. Okay, I see. Yeah, I was just being a little bit blind. Not to read over it, cause now it doesn't just say cotton. They have more. They have more. They have wool. They have cloth. Wow, there's actually so much more to this game already just by looking at that but if you've never seen this game before this is a i don't want to say open world but it's a survival city builder uh type game it's actually super super fun like there's a lot to it especially if you go over here to all the tech tree so it doesn't seem like the biggest tech tree but when you hover over it you unlock a lot of things as you guys can see like that's that's ridiculous there's so much you can already do in this game which is actually really cool. So I'm gonna get them to build up everything that we need. We're gonna need a food spot, so let's just throw it over there. Uh, this bed, I'm gonna have you take ownership of that bed, have you take ownership of that bed. Now we're gonna slow things down. I really don't want you to insult somebody. That's just a di disrespectful thing to do. So let's go ahead and uh, get you guys to cut some trees down and get ready to start our buildings. So to start the buildings, you gotta literally go in here and set everything up by itself. Now, last time I had individual homes. I think I'll only do that when people actually start being boyfriend, girlfriend, they have kids and all that. Um, but what I'm gonna do for now is I'm just gonna go with building a giant house. <sighs> and I'm gonna build like a log house for now. And that's kinda where we're gonna play at. So we'll do... We'll do something like that. 
and then we'll go over just like this. We're gonna need the house to be much bigger, but we need more wood, so we're gonna speed up the game. I want the front door to be kind of like that. Just like a little gap here. Like that's 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 big enough in my mind. Um, I would like it if you guys would just keep wood cutting. It'd be really cool. I appreciate the fact that you guys wanna build your home right away, but I really don't want you guys to do that just yet. My um, migrant has arrived. Let's go ahead and uh, grab this guy here and ask him a question to make sure they're not like a serial killer. Normally you you could do this and kind of try to figure out what they are and all that, but they won't like it. So I'm just going to ask once. Level 2 Forester, welcome to the squad. I'm going to pause the game, click on her. We're going to look at her stats. So go to the heart here. She is lactose intolerant, which sucks. She's an overeater, which really sucks. She's going to eat all of her food. Not only that, she also doesn't like any like milks and all that which is honestly not too bad because we don't have any dairy products insomnia she's having trouble sleeping so she's literally going to be a super annoying person but i'm going to make her a forester hopefully she focuses on just chopping trees down which is going to be pretty cool i gotta figure out how to like find their like how to find jobs and stuff like that all over again all right figured it out <laughs> so this is what we can look at, and this is their like milestone tree. So as they level up, so she can already use metal tools, which is pretty awesome. She's level two forester, so she can do all the wood cutting and all that. If I click it down, it can show me everything here. So I don't want her to do any building. Um, I don't planting trees. We have to get that later on. That doesn't really bother me. I don't want her to do any building at all. I just want her to focus on being a forester. You. For now, do whatever you really want. You're also a forester, so we'll have you focus on being a forester as well. He can wear the master's outfit, which I don't know what it does. I'm guessing it makes him less tired or whatever when it comes to things. But we need to try and uh, get a source of food going before people start eating it all, especially for a new girl who's clearly going to be quite a little, a little, a, a little, a little bit troublesome. But in order for us to do that, we have to build up the actual base first. Which is going to be a little bit annoying. So maybe we go in here. We click you. We go to jobs. And we make you a miner. And we just have you mine stone right now. Because we need. Uh, we actually need that. So this lady here. You need a bed. In order to get a bed we need to get cotton. So let's have you go gather some cotton. That way you can actually sleep on a bed. And not the floor. Which would be quite nice. I do like the fact that there's like a little walkway here. I think that's pretty dope. We can literally just walk on through that. So we got low spirits. That's mainly because, you know, people are sleeping on the floor. They don't have a home or anything like that. That's pretty much how this game is going to play out. But this is a pretty dope survival game. Like if you look, uh, if you look around, there's these tiki goblins. If you don't make friends with the ones close to you, they'll attack you. So we need to kind of look at their masks and kind of see who's close by. These guys I don't care about. They're too far away. But these guys here, we definitely want to be buddy-buddy with. They look like they have like... Uh, like a treant green blue gr not green gray blue mask kind of thing I need her to wake up whenever she does not implemented it hasn't yet been fully included to the game yet I could have sworn that was where the love and all that used to be but maybe they moved that and changed it but let's go in here now should be able to make a bed put that there She's already burnt out. She literally just joined us and she's already being a little pain in my hiney. So let's go ahead and build up the walls. It's going to cost a lot of wood, but that's because we're using the actual fine looking walls. So whatever, who cares? Now a door I think costs 10 wood. It does. Luckily we just got 10 wood. So let's go ahead and put that there. There's our nice little door. Actually, you know what? I don't want that door there. I want the door to be on this side. I think it'll look nicer. Yeah, we could put that there, and then we could even get a window once we get eight wood and possibly put it beside it. I think that's going to look pretty cool. So R and F are how you go up and down, by the way. That's something that a person told me how to do. There's also, I think it's shift. Yeah, shift can allow you to put things on basically all circles of this. So if I go here, I could have put the, I could have put this piece of food directly in the middle, but I didn't kind of. Kind of forgot about that being even an option 
Now, what's going on over here? You're burnt out. Of course you are. When when they get burned out, what that means is they're just they're just annoyed with you. I can't give her the bed because she's burnt out. So she's pretty much just really screwing herself over, which kind of sucks. But, oh well. I'm going to grab the bed. I forget how to move it. I think maybe because they're on it, I can't really grab it. Okay, there we go. I can grab it and move it. So I'm going to move his bed right there. I'm going to grab your bed as well if I can. Now, a little bit difficult to grab it. I think it's because she's sleeping on it. So there's his bed moved. I really want her to get her own bed. But we're going to have to kind of wait. That guy's doing some happy times, a.k.a. he's taking care of everything, chopping down the trees, which is what we need. I really need to research right away to unlock farming, but we need 15 wood. So with him kicking that, he can't break his leg, which is actually kind of scary. So I gotta be careful with that. I'm gonna put all their beds kind of beside each other, just like that. I, I should have just moved them down kind of like this instead of having them how they are. That way, who cares if they're sleeping side by side and all that? We need them to be happy the way that they are. So let's go ahead and now just grab this. I think we'll just put it right here. Actually, no, we won't. We'll put it... Hmm, I like having the tools and stuff by the door. So maybe we'll just throw it in the corner over here for now and just figure it out. Just throw it there. And now let's look at our people. So who's doing what? You're a miner. You're a, for you're a forester. You're a forester. Could I have you focus on being a scholar more than a forester? I think that'd be pretty cool. That'd definitely help us out. You, I really need you to not be such a bossy little person. I would love it if you would calm down. Thank you. Because I'm going to give you ownership, which is going to make you happy, you see? No need for anger. So we're going to have her move that, and then her move that as well. I now need to research farming. So in order for us to do farming, I need to go to this girl, change her jobs. And I'm going to activate the fact that she can mine crystals. Carol, is that you there? No, it's Carlo, my bad. Where is this girl at? She's over there chilling. Let's find some crystals and gather them. I'll need to go into storage now to be able to even, like, get what I want. So let's kind of look around. Where are people? Kicking stumps. Tamara, that's you. Carlos, I don't know why you're all the way over there, but you're over there, all right. But now what I need to do is I need to get this stuff built up so we can have the stockpiles so our characters can actually just really have more of the item. So we can only have up to five crystals, 10 stone, which is nothing at all. We need a lot more than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. I'm gonna get rid of the shift button. That's why those dots are on the floor. We don't need those. Put that there. It's gonna allow us to really focus on getting our missions done that way we can get food because we're at 20 food which is really really bad we don't want that we want a lot more than that so he's going to focus on that like a good little man we're going to go in here and we're going to find more storage and how much logs do we have we have a max of 80 we definitely want more stone so we're going to go ahead and put down a thing of stone as well which is going to help us out which is going to be really cool uh another thing that's really nice is to get a safe as soon as possible that way you can trade money and you can collect money other than only being able to have 50 coins you can have a lot more because you can sell a lot of things and actually do really well with it which is quite nice so let's go look around and see what we can really get built up so they want to loom in the colony loom in the colony she wants to hug a person all right why are you what's wrong with you what are you doing go here i don't know what you're trying to do but don't do it are you trying to go here? Is that what you're crying about? I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know why she's crying, but all right, to each their own. So we just figured out how to make the, the farming now. So it's gonna be awesome. So right away, we need to get this down and we need to get this down as fast as possible. So I think it'll look nice here. So let's go ahead and put our farm here. It's gonna be a big, uh, big, big, big farm. We need, a, we need a really big farm just to kind of help our people live. Trader has arrived. That's what I was expecting to come soon. So not really surprised. So we can walk up to this guy. And we can give him a nice little trade. She's going to eat my bad girl. Should I let you eat that? It's okay. So this is where things get a little bit complicated. So the colony that we have, 
all of our items are in here that we can sell. <sighs> then in here is everything that the guy has to trade. He can sell animals. What? That's so cool. I didn't know that. That was never a thing before. But what I want to look for is... I really want a stone pickaxe. I think that'd be awesome. Especially when it comes to mining. We could probably make our profits back from that. So, I always like... And that's probably bad. I always sell these things here to try and make up for this. So what that's going to do is it's going to sell two of our healing potions and some of our illness medicine. But I, we shouldn't even be able to, we shouldn't even need to use those things yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy that. And then I'm going to look at what else we have here. So we're pretty low on food. So buying strawberries wouldn't be that bad of an idea. So we can go ahead and confirm that trade there. And now what I'm going to need is I'm going to need her, which is not her. I'm going to need her to hopefully build up something that can store her tools and weapons. So in order to unlock that, I need to unlock woodworking, I think it is. Let's see. Yes, I need to unlock woodworking here. So we're going to click that and we're going to hopefully get that done. Now, right now, I don't think I need her to do that as her job. I really need her to eat some food, though. That's probably a really good idea. So what we can do is we can dose that down. And we can really focus on making you a farmer. That way we can go ahead and, uh, you know, actually have some food and not die in the winter time. But our little base is coming together. Nice little tiny home right here. Looking pretty cute. So it's not too bad. I would love to get more windows and all that put up. But temporarily, I think it's probably a better idea that we get some crops built up. Uh, she broke her freaking arm. Oh my gosh. Amelia's a broken arm. We cannot work anymore. Splints will help her heal more quickly. Luckily, she can't become crippled from breaking her arm, but she's not going to be able to do really too, too much now, which really sucks. I cannot believe she broke her arm. That's the downfall of like punching and kicking and all that. You're really going to mess yourself up. Which is not what we want at all. Holy Lanta, that was that's so bad. Alright, it's not a pr yo Amelia, can you just can you just not? You can't do anything. You're gonna be appallingly useless. Like that actually sucks. I can't believe she broke her arm. Alright, you're gonna go kick that, but could you kick this instead? That way you can get some crystals and we can learn woodworking. We just got a stone pickaxe, which was for her to use, and she breaks her arm. It's going to take 40 minutes for her arm to heal. To be fair, if I broke my arm and it took 40 minutes to heal, I think I wouldn't really complain too much. That's some powerful healing. So let's go in here now, and let's get some windows built up. Let's make our home actually look a little bit cozy. I want to put a door. Not a door. I want to put a window by here, but I don't know if it'll look nice. Yeah, it'll look kind of weird. Oh well, that's okay. We'll have a window there, and then maybe we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. That way we can, our people can have a nice view out on the lake, which, is, you know, it's not too bad. Now, what you can do is you can go into this mode. So, I can go here, and I can put, I don't even have to go into the shift mode, because I don't really need to put them here and here, but I can go ahead and put that there and that there. And now, what's that going to be able to do for me is that's going to allow us to put the flooring up top here and now we can actually have an upstairs of this little base here so that'd be kind of cool so I can do this like that and we can go ahead and do it again and again actually you know what let's just do it like that let's just have the little base kind of go like this and then we're gonna need stairs which costs quite a little bit now we just got a bug infection so can you, can you take care of that even though you broke your arm? You can, sweet. So this is going to be kind of a difficult thing because it's going to ruin our crops and it's going to spread if they don't get rid of it fast enough, which hopefully they do. But once this is built here, this, we're going to have a tier two building, like a, 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 a two-story building. It's going to actually look really pretty. So that's going to be cool. We just need to get the walls. We need to get more wood and all that. She's doing her job, which is awesome because we have one food left. So our people are probably going to starve to death, which sucks. But guys... This is Founders Fortune. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link down below in the description that where you guys where you guys can go and get it. It is such a fun game, and honestly, I'd really get this game. Um, this is something that I personally don't see a lot of people playing. 
And I don't know why. Maybe it's because the graphics are a little lower. But they're going to have a huge graphic update, which I'm super excited for. And I really hope it's going to bring a lot more people to this game. So, guys, this is Founder Sports. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All the fun stuff down below. My name is Daniel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. We're not going to starve. We have tomatoes growing.